Welcome to Risky Say TV News. I'm Melissa Vinsel. This week we talk about Irms' first annual report. Take a look at the budget speech that happened this week and we catch up with Cedar Bassett, who is still in the UK. Multiline insurer ACE has appointed a new property risk engineer for its South Africa operations. Charles Moriarty started this week at the company in his role to assist the local ACE underwriting and claims teams on technical matters. John Nienaber, country president for ACE in South Africa, told media that Moriarty's appointment is an important step in the company's strategy of replicating ACE's global expertise and underwriting capabilities locally. ACE has also assured us that Mr. Moriarty is indeed not the famed nemesis of Sherlock Holmes. The company has once again pleaded with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law to stop storming into the offices and trying to arrest him. The Institute of Risk Management South Africa passed a major milestone last week with the publication of its first annual risk report. The report is the first of its kind to look specifically at the South African market. Dominic Ace has the story. The Institute of Risk Management South Africa last week launched its first risk report aimed at the South African market. The report, which surveyed a number of professionals in the risk management sector, listed the 10 most prevalent risks in South Africa and explored how the corporate sector needed to manage these. Unsurprisingly, corruption topped the list of the most feared risks. Michael Ferrandinos, Group Risk Officer at AECI, explains. Going forward, um, a lot of things that we're going to enhance. Um, what, what we re really want to see is the interdependency of the risk. We want to see how they, they work together, they play out together, you know, looking at what Clem said in terms of, of scenarios as well, really looking at, at the story behind the risk and how they talk to each other. So, so interdependency maps are something we're going to look at going forward. It's Oscar season and Risk SA has once again been shortlisted for a Publishing Excellence Award. This time for Best B2B Magazine by the Americans. While we will have to wait until the end of March to hear the results, the entire office is holding thumbs. We cross over to our editorial director, Sarah Bassett, for more. So we didn't win at the IRM awards ceremony last week, but this week we got even better news. On Wednesday, we were contacted by the folks at Niche Media in the United States. Risk SA magazine was once again nominated for an award, but this time we are one of only two named finalists in the running. Lastly, Finance Minister Nkhlan Klanene delivered the annual budget speech in Parliament on Wednesday. Risk SA TV News was specifically interested in the taxes on life insurance and retirement. Here's Christy van der Merwe to tell us more. The most outstanding part of the Minister's inaugural budget speech was the extraordinary 80.5 cents a litre increase to the fuel levy. 50 cents a litre of that is earmarked for the road accident fund. Nene explained that the RAF has accumulated 98 billion rand in unfunded liability. The current RAF levy is 1 rand and 4 cents a litre, and the 50% increase in the levy will try to address the RAF's predicament and assist with the establishment of the Road Accident Benefit Scheme, legislation for which will be tabled this year. Ultimately, this means more money for the Road Accident Fund and less money for the already stretched South African motorist. So legislation to establish the new road accident scheme will be tabled this year to provide for affordable and equitable support for those injured in road accidents. So that the funds flow to the victims of road accidents other than the middleman. The minister wisely chose to remain standing after delivering his speech because we all know what happens when he gets caught sitting down on camera. The opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the tabling of the... Until next week, that's it from me. Remember to click the subscribe button and also catch the latest insurance news on our site at www.riskessay.com. Over to Angelique with this week's events. Welcome to your weekly events roundup. I'm Angelique. Next week, our Risk SA TV crew will report live from the Momentum Risk Summit. Some of the key speakers include economist Rolof Boerter, the Africa Re Life and Health Chief Underwriter, Brian Gibbon, and Oxford University Head of Gerontology, Professor Sarah Harper. 
Carte Blanche presenter Derek Watts will be the event's master of ceremonies. Unfortunately, all the tickets for our insurance boot camp are sold out. However, if you still want to catch it, we still have tickets available for the live broadcast. Please email me if you'd like to make a booking. Finally, a big happy birthday to Risky Says Managing Editor, Nikki Mark, who celebrated on Wednesday. Many happy returns. That's it from me. Catch you next week. <laughs>